guys, my name is Alexandra Roslin and I have hair stuck to my lip gloss. This lip gloss is not popping y'all. So I have just actually filmed my TBR for the Booktube-a-thon and while I'm here, why not do a little bit of a haul? Most of the things that I have acquired are actually picture books. As a lot of you know, I actually really want to learn how to be an illustrator and I've been studying different picture books that I really, really love. And I just decided to go out and buy like a crap ton. So now I'm broke, but that's okay. The first book is Miss Rumpheus. Sorry y'all, I guess I lost the clip of me saying what it was, but yeah, it's Miss Rumpheus. So if you don't know what this is about, it's about a little girl named Alice. Alice wants to be just like her grandfather who has done amazing things in his life. He's traveled to all these really beautiful places and she says, someday when I grow up, I wanna be just like you. And he says, well, Alice, you can travel to a bunch of places, but one thing that you must promise me is that you must try to make the world a little bit more beautiful. And she doesn't know how she's gonna do this, but she grows up and she kind of figures it out. The next book I bought is one that I will be reading in the next couple of days, hopefully. And it is called Jane the Fox and Me, and it is by Fanny Britt and is Isabel Arsenault. So this is a book about a little girl who is getting bullied for her weight. She doesn't necessarily feel very skinny and she doesn't feel like she fits in. And the only time she is really very happy is when she is reading her favorite book, which is Jane Eyre. And the illustrations are so unique and beautiful because it's all done in this beautiful sepia color, black and white. And the only time there is ever any color is when the fox is involved or when Jane is involved. And I just think that is a beautiful depiction of what it's like to be upset and then how things that make you happy can really truly color a black and white world. I'm excited about that one. The next book that I bought is called On a Magical Do Nothing Day. And it is written and illustrated by Beatrice Al Magna. She is such an interesting and wonderful illustrator. She's actually self-taught and I absolutely love her work. This is about a little girl who wants to stay inside and she wants to play on her video game machine. But instead, she ends up going outside and discovers how magical and beautiful just living out in nature and playing outside can be. I absolutely love the, that bright pop of color on that beautiful raincoat. I just think it's completely stunning and visually just magnificent. And I am so, so, so excited to read this. The next picture book I got is called This is Sadie. And this is by Sarah O'Leary and Julie Morstad. This is Sadie is such an adorable little book. It's basically just about a little girl named Sadie and her imagination. She goes to Wonderland and has tea parties with Alice as the Mad Hatter. She pretends that boxes are boats. She likes to be a mermaid. She's just a girl with a beautiful, beautiful imagination and the illustrations are so completely breathtaking. The next book I bought is actually by one of my very favorite illustrators in the entire world. In fact, I would go as far to say she is my favorite illustrator right now and it is Carson Ellis and it is a picture book called Home. Home is this beautiful little poem and it's essentially about different places where people live. Some people live in an apartment, some people live in a palace or underground and her illustrations are just they're completely magnificent I just I absolutely adore Carson Ellis for sure the next picture book that I have bought is actually by a fellow booktuber and her name is Jen Campbell I have followed her for years and the illustrator is Katie Harnett and look at this stunning book. It is just incredible. So this is called Franklin's Flying Bookshop and I am just so in awe of the beautiful color. Franklin's Flying Bookshop is actually about a beautiful dragon named Franklin and how he loves to read and he just wants to be friends with people and talk about books but everyone is afraid of Franklin until one day he meets a little girl named Luna and they become best friends. They talk about books and they devise a plan to make a library and take it into the people. I've actually already read this one. I couldn't help it and I mean it's definitely five stars. I highly recommend it. The next one is The Wonderful Fluffy Little Squishy and it is also by Beatrice Algmagna. This is about a beautiful little girl named Eddie and all she wants to do is find the perfect birthday gift for her mother and she thinks the perfect thing in the world would be something that is fluffy and little and squishy. She just doesn't know where to find it or what it is. The illustrations again are just so 
charming. Beatrice does this very signature thing where she'll do a pop of like a neon color. So in this one it's pink and her other book it was orange. And finally the very last book that I have bought for this little haul is The Whisper and this is written and illustrated by Pamela Zagorensky. Now The Whisper is such a beautiful charming book. I've never seen an illustration like this before. Pamela does a really beautiful job at incorporating different textures into her illustrations. She does a lot of different things and you can see she's a very mixed media type of person. The Whisper is about a little girl who takes a book home and all of the words disappear somehow along her walk home and when she gets home she's really sad because she wants to know the stories behind all of these beautiful pictures and then she hears a whisper and the whisper tells her that she can look at a picture and she can create the story for herself. Okay next I have three regular books to show you. The first two I have to show you are actually ones that I won from Jaded Reader's channel so thank you so much Jade. I will link her channel down below. She is wonderful. The first book that I won which is very very exciting is Peter Pan and this is a Stunning, stunning edition. So there's no way that Jade could have known this, but I actually collect Peter Pan books. I love Peter Pan books so, so, so much. And I am so thrilled because this book is just completely stunning. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you so much, Jade. The next book that I want actually is Obsidian, which is perfect because I've been wanting to start the series for forever. So this is kind of the push that I needed to start the Illuminae series, and I will be ordering those very, very soon. I'm not going to tell you what this book is about because this is the third in the series, and I don't want to spoil myself. And I also don't have the first book, so I can't tell you what that one's about. But I've heard they're really excellent, and it's supposed to be like a sci-fi. And it's really cool because they actually tell the story in mixed media, which is incredible. And I've never heard of something like that, so really excited about that. And then the last thing that I bought was the Magicians Trilogy, and I bought it in hardback. It's so beautiful, though. Oh my goodness, they're stunning. And I actually have the first one of these books in paperback, and I read a little bit of it when I was 17 or 18 but I believe I DNF'd it because I sort of thought that it was going to be Harry Potter and the series is definitely nothing like Harry Potter. It's a very dark and gloomy series. It's a more practical magic world building. However, it is incredibly addictive as a TV series. So addictive that I've decided to buy all of the books no matter what and just start it. Next, I am super excited because I bought some things to write with. The first thing, I feel like you can never have too many little notebooks and I saw this pack and it's just freaking adorable. For those of you who write, you know that a lot of the times you like to keep everything in your story in one particular spot. So I wanted to buy a really, really special binder to do that. This is the binder that I'm keeping all of my story ideas in. And I just think that it is so completely beautiful. I love how it looks like an old book on the side. And I absolutely love that you can put the name of your book on the side of it as well. It's a dark navy with this beautiful, beautiful camel colored bow leather. And I am so excited. The next thing that I got was pretty similar. It's just a lot bigger. And it is the three inch version of that. And this is going to be where I keep all of my series information. So all of the background on the characters, all of the setting, all of the world developing, all of the magic system, um, history, past, present, family trees, very in-depth character studies, things that I want to happen in the other books. All of that is actually going to happen in this binder. And I am so incredibly excited to keep everything in this particular binder. Next, I bought some tabs. I love them because I love the pattern. Again, they just feel so old fashioned and beautiful and kind of art deco. It's just so absolutely stunning. It reminds me of like a very, very vintage wallpaper and seeing it makes me think of that old timey book feel. And then the very last thing I got was another binder. So this is the binder here and I just think that it is stunning. I bought it and I really like it because it can zip all the way up. It also has a place inside to keep your pen and it also has leather or faux leather um, pockets which I think are really, really cool. But I love it because if I have any loose papers or illustrations, it will zip completely up so that I never have to worry about anything slipping out. And I like that it's also a lot slimmer than the other ones because if I want to take some of my work to a coffee shop but I don't necessarily I want to take all of my stuff and all of my background I can kind of pick whatever I want to work on and just put it in this binder and then go and work outside of the house okay guys well that is everything on this little haul thank you guys so much for watching until the next time book lovers keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book and I will see you later bye